talking about those streets and those new Providence streets that are driving you crazy, the areas that are maddening, we want to hear from you. What are the problem areas that we need to be looking out for? Give us a call, 323-8160, 323-6232. And again, this, is, this isn't just a venting session. We are actually compiling a list of what you tell us, and we're going to get this to the Ministry of Works, to whichever agency we need to get this to. We're going to get it. We were hearing yesterday about potholes that, are, that have been there for weeks, and it's a lack of signs in certain areas, lights that aren't working. We want to hear more about that today. Every, uh, you know, Dwight, every morning that you do your traffic report, I, <clears throat> I'm waiting with bated breath, saying that, thinking that the grand announcement is going to come. The road works are complete. Everything right. is done. There will be no more traffic congestions, no more traffic delays, <laughs> no more potholes. Everything will run perfectly smooth on the island of New Providence. Don't From that point on, don't I keep waiting, breath. Dwight. Don't hold it. I breath. keep waiting, and you know that I'm even... going to continue my optimism. Maybe it'll come tomorrow. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you know that even when that is done, there are going to be many issues. <clears throat> no, so we were talking about yesterday. There's so much, yeah. so many concerns. Just a lack of signs, a lack of the right. Sig the signal, just so many things. So some of the yeah. medians that yeah. they have to just pop out. You heard a caller about it. that. He said he sustained some, what, at least $500 worth of damage. Of His transmission was gone when he hit one of those weird medians. And they, uh, there's no logic to the medians. Yeah. They're just, uh, at, at night is probably when it's most scary oh, yeah. for, for some motorists. Because you can, you can overlook them and you can con continue straight on your path, thinking that that's the way the road continues, and wow. Again, right straight over it. We have we had people calling yesterday about that six lane roundabout. Many people still concerned and confused there. The new roundabout by the airport. Apparently, some crazy things are happening out there. People are very confused about what to do there. Um, we have a, a whole lot of new streets that are two direct two lanes in one direction, and people just are changing lanes or signaling. They don't and care. You, you and I still have a bet. I still believe that there's going to be a roundabout at Burnett Road, Village Road. <laughs> Wolf Road oh, yeah. no and Soldier Road. That is. That's, I, you no said it's not around. I think it's, it, it well, has it, to be around. Dug out. How in the world would other would four roads come to? Well, I take that back. Yeah. Look at uh, look at uh, Fox Hill and and uh, Prince Charles. That's a weird well, intersection. Well, we, it's well, wide open. No, we're very optimistic. That is a temporary problem. <laughs> the, the traffic lights will be replaced. We hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, but um, but I think it's gonna be like the mall. It's gonna be um. I, I think I even remember that a few years ago. They said they would remove the roundabout and put traffic lights there. At Bernard Road and Bernard Road, Road intersection. Road and Wolf Soldier Road. Road there, yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, they removed the roundabout. Why would they do that if they were to put it back? Yeah, I mean, they're definitely yeah. widening the roads there too. I mean, right. some major work is going on right there. So I'm interested to see how that all pans out. Yeah. So we want to hear from you again. 323-8160, 323-6232. And I, I have a tough time on my scooter, man. So I can only imagine my motorists. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have to turn around and try to figure out a way through this and through that on a scooter. Yeah. I, oh, man, I couldn't. I don't, I don't think I have the wherewithal to uh, emotionally to be a motorist. I'll, I'll get too frustrated with that type of stuff, man. My, my, my views are short when it comes to roads and, and traffic. it is very interesting that you mentioned a scooter today because I noticed over the past two weeks, I have seen more hummers on the streets of New Providence than ever before. Hummers. And, you know, they don't make hummer anymore. No. And, I, and people were offloading hummers in the States because of gas prices. Yes. And I'm very disappointed. I can't believe the Bahamians were thinking they're getting deals by going over there and seeing, oh, Hummers, let me get a Hummer. At this time, $5 yeah, that, gas, almost that's six. That's the status. We know this that's... is what you want to do on these tiny streets, that's Hummers? A, that's a status statement, man. Look at me. Status? Yeah, I don't let was... Hummers out of a corner. If I'm, if you're not coming out in front of me. <laughs> Dwight is a meanie. No, no, no. I, I have no respect for Hummer drivers. I'm yeah, no, it is ridiculous for Nassau. It's not, it's something not, that large. Yeah, maybe Andrews, you could do that there, but no, not here. That's disrespectful to other motors in this country. I'm sorry. To buy a Hummer is disrespectful yeah, oh, yeah. to other motors. You, you don't care about the environment. You don't care about yeah. me as a fellow motorist. You have no... I'm sorry. <laughs> I, if I offended you, I apologize, but that's how I feel. you got a call on the line. Good morning. This is Morning Blend. Morning, my brother. Hi. Good morning, morning. Wonderful. Okay. Right. Man, 
the hour I can't get it. Roy Ann talks about that all the time. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think anybody knows how it works. It was it was it was poorly explained. I mean, is it still in in effect at Araki, the entrance to the new port? Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> I was like, I, I wait, wait, what are y'all talking about? I didn't even know. About it. <laughs> Well, they said you're supposed to be more courteous. I think they're supposed to allow the traffic on the left to go. Is that what they said? I think. Or is it on the right? Well, I don't remember. But 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 courte courtesy and the streets in your Providence don't really work <laughs> together very well. So, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's it's madness. <laughs> right. Yeah, that is crazy. Call it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Again, the numbers to call today, 323-8160, 323-6232. We want to hear from you about what's not working on the streets in New Providence. We're putting a list together and we're going to send it off to the authorities. Hopefully we'll see some changes. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Maybe in 100 days, maybe? Okay. Somebody, uh, you know, Dwight, somebody sent me a 